it's that real I, I don't play when it comes to my kitty area what's going on y'all it's your girl down denise back again with another video in today's video i'm gonna give you some tips tricks and secrets on how to make that brazilian wax feel less painful so if you're interested in this video we're gonna get right into it So before we even get started, I want to say welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and kicking it with me. If you're new, thank you for joining the crew. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget to comment down below. Become part of the team, become part of the crew, okay? So we're just going to jump right into it. I'm not a new waxer. I've been waxing for like years now consecutively because I just can't it with the whole razor ring down there over the years i've developed my little routine that i do every time i go get waxed and it does make the wax less painful i do get what is known as hard wax hard wax is when they just lay the wax on top of you and it gets hard and you just rip that off it's not like they use like the strip method where they put the wax on then put the strips on they normally do that like when you get your eyebrows done it's not that type of wax that's called like soft wax this is literally just hard wax and i know some people also get sugaring this can help with the sugaring process too i have an upcoming video on that with the sugaring versus waxing this is a little sidetrack i did actually try sugar waxing but it wasn't for me i did go back to hard wax if you're thinking about maybe trying sugar waxing like i said subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when i do post because that video should be coming shortly okay so let's get back into it so like i said i have a concern executive waxer i'm a serial waxer i don't shave down there whatsoever i don't even remember the last time i used a razor down there it's that real I, I don't play when it comes to my kitty area so the first tip or secret or trick that i do do to make the waxing easier is i actually go in with the mask okay i'll link in down below you can get it right off of amazon and i know you're like wow that bottle is really little but this bottle has lasted me a number of times because you're not going to use the whole jar for your kitty area it has five percent lidocaine in it and it's used to numb the area so what i do is i apply this twice before i go get my wax done whatever time i have scheduled for my wax i'll do the first dose about like an hour before and then i'll do the second dose like 30 minutes right before i don't think you really need more than two doses maybe you can try it but i do two and it helps significantly with the pain i think you need more than one but i don't think you need more than two i feel like the one personally is not enough you need that extra um you know, the extra kick so like i said i'll go in about an hour before and i'll put the first dose on i literally just open it it's just white it's just white cream i'll go in with it i'll put a thick layer on top of the front part and the sides with a bikini please do not get this inside we don't i don't even touch this anywhere near my little clitoris area this is only for the outer part but like i said i put this on the outer part and the crevices where my thigh and my crotch area meet don't even put this on the areas of your hoo-ha that's near the parts or inside this is strictly for the outer part like i said i go in an hour before and i actually put the numb master on then 30 minutes prior i go back in with the, the second dose same thing put a thick layer on pull up my panties and go all right that's pretty much what i do and i really do think that this helps with the pain my second thing that i do i take ibuprofen i try to take it 45 minutes before my appointment and i used to use tylenol but i feel like the ibuprofen works better but regardless pain medicine i'm sorry yes i take that and it makes my wax a breeze so those two things together now does it completely make your area completely numb where you don't feel absolutely nothing with the numb master and the tylenol the ibuprofen no you're still going to feel a little bit something but to me it's way more tolerable when you do those two things and then my last little tip, something that I do with my aftercare. Now, I know a lot of times they tell you to make sure you exfoliate the area, which is correct. You do want to use exfoliator. But one thing that actually my waxer, she's my homegirl. She's my bestie. I love her. She put me on and she told me that if you're a woman of color, when it comes to actual exfoliators, like scrubs, you want to kind of shy away from that. And the reason being is because it's so rough, it ends up scratching the surface. And us girls with color and melanin, think about a pimple. You're using stuff, you're popping the pimple, you're scratching the surface. And then what happens when you pop that pimple? You normally end up with a dark mark, right? Same thing normally happens to us 
women of color or women with melanin with down there. When you use those abrasive type of scrubs, like scrubs that actually have the beads in it, you're scratching the area. Our skin just is prone to when it gets a scratch, the melanin comes boosting and rushing in. And when she told me that, I was like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. So she recommended to use liquid exfoliators. So the one that I use is actually called Skin Script. And it's just a clarifying toner pad. And I use this for my exfoliation. And this, I think, has a lot to do, too, with why my waxing is easier. Because I literally use this, too. The morning that after I take my shower, I use this. So the hairs is easier to pull up. And I know a lot of waxes, they tell you exfoliate that day up. The hair will be easier to pull up. But sis, I highly encourage you, if you're a woman of color, a woman of melanin, or even just any type of woman, I would suggest trying to go into looking into like a liquid type of formula for a exfoliator. Now this exfoliator, it comes with 2% salicylic acid, 2% glycolic toner, and it has tea tree oil in it. It's very good. The toner pads just look like this. I'm gonna show you one. It's literally just a pad, like literally a pad. So it's just a pad and that's it. So of course you're not gonna use this in the inside. You're only using it for the outer parts of your Wuha but it's good for getting the hair or when it comes time to waxing day. It also helps with the ingrowns. I have like rarely any ingrowns because this really helps with breaking down the top surface so you know it doesn't lock and clog the pore from having the hair grow out straight. So I'm telling you, telling you, telling you, this is one of the things that has helped with my waxing and making it less painful. You wanna definitely look into this. Clarifying toner pads and it's by Skin Scrub. Honestly, though, a lot of the toners you use on your face, you can use down there because think about it. It's skin. It's still skin. Just don't get it in the inside. But that outer part, I'm telling you, girl, you can go ahead and use your toner for that. But I highly suggest you get one for down there. If you don't want to use mine, get one. Just make sure it has this salicylic acid in it. It helps break down that overlayer that can block the pore. The reason why you get ingrowns is because the pore is like blocked and then the hair starts curving and growing down. But those three things are my tips and my secrets and my tricks to having painless waxes. Try these three things and it should definitely help. It, will it completely eliminate the pain? No, I'm not saying it. This video is not for completely eliminating wax pain because I don't think that's even possible, but it'll definitely make it more tolerable. It'll go from a 10 to about a three. So I hope you all enjoyed my videos. If you did try my method, leave a comment down below. Let me know if it helped you out. All of our bodies are different. I'm letting you know what worked for me and I'm hoping that what worked for me works for you as well. And before we leave again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you hit that subscribe button. I hope you're part of the crew. I hope you're part of the team. Come join it. You gonna love it over here cause it's a vibe and you wanna catch this vibe. All right y'all, until next time, bye beauties. See y'all next time. Mm -hmm.